I was uh, named uh, Hagop when I was born, which uh, later became Jacob, and I reduced it to J. Michael Hagopian. Hagop was the name of my grandfather. My dad's uh, own name was Mikhail Minashian. He changed it to honor his father. He called himself Hagopian. I was born in 1913, October 20. I was born two years prior to the genocide. My dad was a doctor, and this is primarily why he survived. They needed his competence. He was the best doctor in town. Turkish officials trusted him. So every now and then, they'd say, doctor, we're gonna ship you up. You, you can go with this caravan or that caravan. My dad would say, uh, why don't I wait? Why don't I go with the next one? And so he survived. And now at one time, uh, when matters became very critical, they hid me in a well. They put me in a well uh, for two days. They figured they're gonna die anyway. So let the kid live. Maybe someone will find him. From the time we left Harper until we arrived in America, it was about nine months. So we lived in Boston for four years and then moved out to California. And uh, the genocide was behind us. I, I do remember some things. I must have been five or six or seven years old, getting together with two other boys in a kind of a hidden corner of the garden. Uh, and we were kind of afraid. We didn't want people to uh, see us or hear what we're saying. But I remember the discussion. Uh, what are you going to do when you grow up? Then I came up with Woodrow Wilson. I want to be like Woodrow Wilson. He was trying to save the Armenians, and he, he was trying to give self-determination. Well, I didn't know what that meant, but he was a great hero. Uh, during those years, uh, Wilson was a god to almost every uh, victimized people on Earth. I started filming Survivors uh, as early as 1960. Five, the Armenian Film Foundation was established with the help of several community leaders in 1979. And its purpose was to document the witnesses, survivors and witnesses of the Armenian genocide. Uh, I hope that I had started earlier. Uh, I miss a lot of good people that should have been interviewed. Uh, fortunately, I've put them on film, which is the most stable and durable of the visual media. Because my main aim in life during all these 40 years or 50 years was to catch our history for the future. So the future, well, I hope that these films can be used as testimony in some future world court. I'm sure that someday the Armenians will have an opportunity to uh, confront the Turks and what happened to us in a world court. At that time, there will be no survivors left. The only ones we have are on film. And that's when it's going to be so important to bring out the testimony of what happened. And that is why it's so important to preserve this material.